Geneva is proud of its history as an international city. In fact, almost 40% of its population are foreigners. So, as an expat, you won't be unusual, but you may need to be broad-minded. We're mixing with people from, well, it is literally a United Nations city, of course. So we're mixing with people from every different nationality, and it does broaden your horizons. We'll take you on a tour of the international organisations, and also talk to the wider expat community. We'll show you around some popular neighbourhoods, and then take you on a short commute to France. This is our local boulangerie, which we're very lucky to have because not all the villages do have them. And it's a particularly fantastic one. They're very nice and they're open all the days of year, including Christmas Day. We'll also show you around a typical city centre apartment. This apartment is, has a very nice Layout, it has an open kitchen area. And a family house in the suburbs, so that you'll have a good idea of what to expect. So right, this is a brand new house. So here we are in the dining area. If you're looking for schools, we have guided tours to help you make your choice. Both sections are, are using the science labs, so English section and French section. And are, I mean, the curriculums are running in parallel, are they now? I mean, obviously there are different languages, but you can learn science. I suppose it's, learning science is the same in whatever language it happens to be. That's correct, but, but there are differences. The school, uh, the International School of Geneva, was founded in 1924, actually moved to this particular property in 1929. So we've actually occupied this site since 1929. There's plenty of practical advice on how to get about. Shopping for the essentials. Tips on where to go for an evening out. You can come in lunchtime, it's business, and the night is really fun. In the winter, you can dance on the tables if you want. <laughs> and then, if you've got a few hours to spare one afternoon, we'll show you how quickly you can be on the ski slopes. You just pop across the border from Geneva and you're up here pretty quickly. The best way to see the city without leaving home. <laughs>